if it says that I'm gonna be single for one more year of my life, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm Simone Heng and welcome to the first episode of Singaporeanize Me. Everyone thinks I'm half Australian, I'm not. I was born here, I left for Australia when I was three, I lived here again from 2005 to 2009 and then I moved back here in the middle of 2015. But there's still so much more for me to learn so this whole series is about getting back in touch with those things about my cultural ties to Singapore that I want to know more about and we're kicking it off, we're going to see the Feng Shui Master. Hello, it's my evil villain chair. Uh, it's not evil villain time, but it is horoscope time. I'm about to get my Chinese horoscope read, and I'm kind of freaking out because firstly, I believe in this stuff, and secondly, if it says that I'm gonna be single for one more year of my life, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm also gonna get my Barca read. Gosh, your fingers for me. So Master Go, firstly, what is Barca? Like, I know Ba is like eight. Eight, right? So, can you explain? Well, Pata means the uh, eight characters. So, meaning we are converting year of birth, month of birth, day of birth, and hour of birth into eight Chinese characters. Yeah. Have you heard of what is the five element? Yes. Yeah. Fire, wood, metal, earth, metal, water. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, we are using every uh, single element to represent any individual. Can you just give a general overview without going into detail of my bazza? What you saw on the chart? It uh, can be very charming, but okay. it can be like a rock, so it can be quite stubborn at times. You tend to take care of uh, everybody around you, including your the other half, your Mr. Right. <laughs> oh. And where is he? <laughs> the Zodiac says I should marry a dragon because I'm a rat. They're all married. They're all married because they're dragons and everyone wants to be one and marry one. And Mr. Reagan is coming on the way for really? sure. Really? Yes. You sure not? Yes. Okay, make a guess who will have a better career for the year of 2017. Uh -huh. Career first in the list will be Rooster, followed by Dragon and the Dog. Oh man, okay. For those that born in the year of Dragon, followed by Horse and Rat. Okay, let's talk about the bad stuff here. Let's get back to the rat situation. Uh, yes. I read that it's going to be a bad year for health for the rat. The health is still alright. Okay. According to our reading. It's not a very democratic zodiac, is it? <laughs> like, this yes. is as Chinese as it gets, that it's an elitist zodiac. I love it. So, where is the rat? Am I like the worst? Over here. So, the first on the list is dragon, both by the okay. horse, dog, tiger, rooster, and rat. So, in the middle. Okay, that's not too bad. The final, the final thing I need to know is, will I be married this year or meet Mr. Right this year? Uh, we'll get to meet Mr. Right this year, in the year of 2017. Will this end in divorce? Well, <laughs> like I... next year, you know? <laughs> this is what we need to be concerned. When 2018 was around, Master Girl's gonna be like, yes, this year is very bad for your marriage. The man you met last year, and what's love of your life is now going to be your ex-husband and you're going to be alone and pregnant. Thank you. 